It is a moment seared into history. It was the push of that button 10 years ago tomorrow that triggered the start of the Flint water crisis. When the city switched its water source to the Flint River, that water was not properly treated, resulting in lead leaching from pipes. ABC 12 News is chronicling the last 10 years. We are hearing from the people who are helping the city of Flint move from crisis to recovery. Our Don Jones joins us this morning to talk more about ABC 12 special, which airs tonight at 7 o'clock called The Journey forward. Good morning, Don. Yeah, the journey forward 10 years of the Flint water crisis. It's been a decade. Yeah, and I know that, you know, several folks with the ABC 12 News team have been working hard putting this special together. Uh, give us an idea of what to expect. You know, I think you can expect a comprehensive, in-depth look uh, as comprehensive as you can get in an hour of a 10-year crisis uh, that's still ongoing in many respects. And we talked to uh, a number of people. We talked to the uh, three mayors of the city, the last three mayors of the city. Former Mayor Dane Walling, of course, became the face of that water crisis. You in that saw, moment. Yeah. yeah, in that moment. Uh, even though at the time we were still under an emergency manager, uh, he became the face of that crisis. So we, we get his perspective on uh, what was going on 10 years ago. We also take a look back at the emergency manager law, which many people believe is what got us to this point. There's so many layers to this. It, it, there's so many layers. You know, we take a look back at um, why that law was put into place, where it has been deployed, and what it really did to the city of Flint, how it kind of distorted our politics somewhat, and um, how one person came in and had the authority to make that switch, but was not a person elected by people of this community, and was an outsider, uh, didn't even live in this community. So it's, it's, it's a pretty um, comprehensive look, and we talked to a mother, uh, who's still on the front line. She's been fighting for 10 years. Her children were severely impacted from the exposure to the lead that was in the water. And we also, one of the more interesting uh, parts of our special tonight, we talked to uh, scientist Dr. Mark Edwards who came in right after the water crisis and he uh, did some testing. But what he's saying 10 years later really caught our attention. Yeah, we have some sound from him. We did expose the Legionnaire's disease outbreak that did kill uh, at least 10 Flint residents. Uh, the harm that was done from the lead is unacceptable, but at the same time, providing a false message and telling kids they're brain damaged from lead and water when that simply did not occur, that has negative repercussions as well. And so, you know, the good news is that that messaging helped raise a lot of money to help kids in Flint. But the fear is, will that money, the good that comes from it, be outdone by the harm from the wrong messaging? So it's something we have to strive to get right. And I don't think we're there yet. And our Matt Franklin sat down with uh, Dr. Uh, Mark Edwards. It was a pretty interesting uh, yeah, that's discussion. His that's his take. That's his take 10 years later. Because, because as you mentioned, this crisis is still playing out even right now. And, and yeah. the true victims, honestly, those young, innocent children mm -hmm. and people who consume that water, you know, they were so vocal, though, at the time. Yeah. about oh, the protesters. Yes. There were many protests and they were taking to the street. And it was really interesting to see that here in uh, Flint, Michigan, people were showing up at meetings like you see here with bottled water that they took from their tap that was brown. Uh, that's Leanne Walters there. We talked to her for our special. And uh, it's, it, it was just a very interesting time in the community. And for Dr. Mark Edwards to have that take now, uh, tune in tonight. Matt Franklin uh, has the complete interview with uh, uh, Mark Edwards, and he asked him, what do you tell the mothers whose uh, children were impacted? And oh, people now are, that you say that yeah. the impact of it wasn't as great as uh, we would think. People are definitely still processing this crisis, even mm -hmm. 10 years uh, later. A decade later. It, it put Flint on the map, honestly, for worldwide. all the wrong reasons. Yeah, worldwide. And uh, I think people are still trying to wrap their brains around how it all played out. Yeah, it, so 
We're inviting the community to tune in tonight, uh, 7 o'clock, for the journey forward, 10 years of the Flint water crisis. Well, as always, thank you so much, uh, Don, for coming on the show, and we look forward to your hard work in this special. My pleasure. Again, tonight at 7.